What's up, boxing fans? What a weekend. Man, it was a lot of good fights, man. Shout out to Top Rank for putting on a good show with Oscar Valdez and Gilbert Ramirez. Um, I just want to talk about the Gilbert Ramirez-Jesse Hart fight. I mean, that was a, a good performance by both fighters. Um, Jesse Hart, you know, he fought his heart out. Uh, you know, after getting uh, knocked down in the second round, he, he had to dig deep and uh, get himself together. He did that. But I just want to point out a couple things. Uh, Ramirez is a rugged Mexican uh, fighter. I mean, come forward. Uh, he takes punches very well. And that was the difference in the fight. Uh, Ramirez took Jesse punches very well. And Jesse didn't take Ramirez punches as well. Uh, Ramirez, he kept the pressure on. He was going to the body very well. Uh, coming up top. Uh, after Jesse would connect with his punches, his power punches, because Jesse punches was hard, but Ramirez ate him good, and he was able to throw off of those punches when, when Jesse's not used to that. Most of the time, when Jesse hits somebody with an uppercut or a power shot, power right hand, um, he's able to see the effects and not expect a punch to follow after that. And that's what Ramirez, that was the difference because Ramirez was able to throw punches after he got hit with devastating power shots by Jesse Hart. Um, hats off to Ramirez, man. He, he, he's, he fought his heart out. Jesse fought his heart out. Uh, I, I like to see those two guys fight again. Uh, I'm looking forward to both of their careers. Um, Jesse, uh, things that I want to point out about him, um, what Jesse has to has to fix is after one, he, his pop shots, he throws a lot of pop shots, which pop shots are, are just one punch, you know, get out the way. But he has to put his uh, combinations together. Um, and he, he hurt Ramirez a few times in that fight. But it was nothing after it. You know, that that, causes, that would cause uh, Jesse a problem. Uh, Jesse ha also has to, after he throws his punch, he has to defend himself. Uh, he, 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 he throws his punches, and then he doesn't defend himself. So he's susceptible of getting caught. And that's how he got caught in that second round on top of the head by... Um, think it was a left hand on top of the head a lot of people think it was the uppercut because Jesse was leaning down but he was already going down and he fell into that uppercut so um you know and and also you know Jesse could bang I mean Jesse could bang he fought his heart out uh kept the fight close uh Ramirez uh I mean I'm, I'm just amazed at his chin he has a a still chin and that's good for coaches because they really don't have to coach Ramirez to not get knocked out because they're coaching Ramirez to execute the plan because he's able to take a punch and that was the difference in the fight so shout out to both fighters I look forward to seeing um, both fighters in the future uh, from what I'm understanding uh, Ramirez might defend the title one more time before he go up to 175 uh, Andre Ward uh, retired, so he's re releasing his belt, so therefore people can go after him and fight for him. Uh, Jesse Hart, uh, I hear he's having, uh, he's set to have, uh, he still has the, the USBA, uh, and I think the, M I'm not sure, but he still has three other belts that he has to defend, so uh uh, they're junior belts. They're not the uh, major belts like the WBO, WBA, IBF, or the WBC. Uh, they're the lesser belts, but he still has to defend them. And I think he's coming home to defend those titles. So I look forward to, to those guys fighting in the future. Uh, I was wrong. I'm going to admit, I was wrong. I thought Jesse was going to be able to stop him. Uh, because, uh, But Ramirez just... <laughs> Ramirez take harder shots to the head than I, than I seen outside of Triple G and Canelo. So uh, congratulations to both fighters. They put on a hell of a show. 
Shout out to Top Rank for putting on that show. And uh, ESPN, yo, y'all got to do something about that baseball. Um, going back and forth with those channels. But, uh, man, I look forward to the Laura uh, Goucher fight. I look forward to the Herd Trout fight. And also the Charlo uh, Lubin fight. I mean, uh, those are going to be exciting fights in October. So leave a comment. Um, I was wrong. I'm, I meant to you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I see you all on my next opinion. So I highlight y'all.